Good morning. It's a beautiful morning and it's time for us to. We're getting packed up so we can leave and end our vacation 2021. Dude number one is getting the truck packed up. So as they say, all good things must come to an end. So it's that time, you guys. There's dude number one. Hey, honey. Can I see you? Hey, man. Do y'all see him? Y'all, it's, hey, so, it's so bright out here. I can't tell if I got the camera in the right place or not. So I hope y'all can see him. So he's getting the truck packed up. So let me finish gathering the last few things. But it's such a beautiful morning, you guys. So bright out here. So Get ready to hit the road. Hi, girls. Auntie loves you. Bye. In case, guys, we do. In case. Mm -hmm. Love you. Joy Bale. Joy Bale. Mm. Y'all, this is the part that makes me sad. Give me a kiss, baby. Auntie loves you. Mm -hmm. See y'all later. Y'all be good. Everybody, bye. 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 <laughs> yes, sir. I did. made me mad and this is real talk we are headed home and we just made a stop at Burger King to pick up some breakfast and we decided to turn the camera back on and share this 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 is real talk y'all I mean for real real we just stopped at Burger King I turned the camera on and when I turned the camera on his expression looked like here she go again with that camera. So I immediately closed the camera and he looked at me and said, what was that for? And I said, because your expression when I turned the camera on. So we've been conversing about it. Um, it's been some heated fellowship, some heated conversation in the vehicle. And we decided to turn the camera back on just to kind of share this moment because this this is you know you guys see us all the time and we're laughing and joking and we're having a good time but sometimes this dude gets on my ever loving nerves and vice versa i get on his ever loving nerves don't change our love for each other but uh we done had some heated fellowship the past 15 minutes so we really decided let's turn the camera on and we're going to talk about this i mean on the real real I mean this, this this is real talk I am really aggravated with him right now for real for real and we just wanted you to kind of, we wanted to kind of share exactly what's going on because I'm telling you we got another three hours to be in this vehicle and I ain't got time to be in this vehicle with tension and that's real as far as me like most men in situations like this I just don't say nothing because you don't win these you don't win these. It's seen one way, or it, that's what it is, or you know, you can have the tension. So I just rather, you know, and sitting down figuring it out, let me just take the silent. Let me just keep quiet, keep my mouth shut, 
take my mind off somewhere else and it'll work itself it'll work itself out it'll work itself out but usually it's a misunderstanding and in a misunderstanding it grows onto whatever or wherever but for me and again I'm um, reiterating it doesn't change my love at all but sometimes it's just better say just just don't say nothing man now I don't know, you can have a divide and a war between men against women. Men see it one way, women see it another way. Because most of the time, I think as women, we want them to respond or talk. But then y'all know he naturally loud. So him being naturally loud, when we get heated, he gets even loud. And I be like, you ain't gonna be hollering at me. But it's not that he's hollering, he just, he's loud. So when, you know, stuff happens, it's like he gets even louder. And we in this box trying to trap me like sir uh i'm gonna need you to bring it down a couple notches so again even in loudness as she say yeah i do have a voice that's carried the frustration is when you're trying to make a point and the point ain't being seen by no means necessary there is no only only point i'm gonna see is mine and so in that situation you just shut down or shut off here's the situation we're here the right lane to take the US 13 South, US 17 South ramp to US 64 West, Everett. So we roll forward. Stopping to get something to eat. She had already been saying with my, my truck, we've been talking. the right lane to take the US 13 South ramp. Yeah. Right here. That's 115. Exit 115. Continue for three quarters of a mile. So here's our situation. We stop in um, on the way home to get some breakfast. And just stop and pick up a few sandwiches, want to get on the road and get on home. We had just had a conversation. She was me. This is me. From the where the from where the breakfast restaurant was facing. The sun was beaming in on her. She got hot. I had my windows down. We was riding with the windows down, just going along. And so she was like, I'm hot. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hot. You know, so I said, okay, well, turn on the heat. Turn on the um, air. So I turned my air on. And she was like, oh, you know, not feeling some air. And so I'm sitting here looking. And so we turned to her, and, you know, the heat goes out, the air comes on. Now, one side, for one reason, I'm not sure what's going on my side. with my vehicle, but on the side where she's on, I have a dual system. Um, I can hit a dual system, meaning she wants it one degrees, I want it one degrees, we can have it that way, but it seems to be something going on that this side does not get nowhere near as cold as the driver's side when it comes to air. And so she has been complaining to me about that. I said, okay. You know, I'm thinking about it. So to go to our conversation, as we were waiting, the sun is beaming on her. I turned the air on, and um, as the air beginning to build in the car, she, uh, we rolled up the windows. She begins to start filming. But what she is talking about is um, just us at Burger King getting something to eat. My thinking is she finna, oh, here she go again talking about my air. That's why you lack saw me, or uh, lack of, and that's why you saw me this way, where she immediately triggered because she assuming that I'm getting upset that she's filming again. So she's assuming that um, I'm, um, because she's filming again, I'm getting upset. As she said in a, another video, sometimes it can be, guys, It's if that's what you, you do in YouTubing, it can become frustrating to people around you that every time you turn around, you're capturing certain moments. You're capturing situations, which is a good thing. But my thing is it can also lead to a frustration with people. Because you're constantly, you don't want a camera constantly sitting in your face. So with that said and done, that's where tension begin. And as we begin to knock back and forth with this, ultimately in any tension that I have, and I can't speak for all men, but the majority of men that go this way, men just shut down and shut up. Men are, uh, women are social creatures. God made you. So that's a fact. Women are just, uh, um, Women are social creatures, men are not. That's why when men get upset, you they go silent. They go silent. That's the way God made us. You want proof of that? Go back in the beginning in the garden. Adam was on earth by himself. 
And so Adam talked, if anything, he just internalized it and thought about it. Eve never been on earth by herself. There was always somebody for her to talk to. So when there was an issue, she talked about it. Men, there was nobody there, we keep quiet about it. Now that's for normal. There are some cases to where some women goes introvert, some men are extrovert. But that's where we were there. And so for me, I just shut down and be quiet. Now that'll last for maybe an hour, two. No, I didn't let it last that long because I kept talking. Right. Again, you see the scenario. The man just shut down, shut up. The woman, no, we're going to pry this out, which aggravates some men to take them to another level. You don't want to, you want me to talk, but I don't want you to talk too loud. Because you sound like you hollering. Okay. So you don't, you already talked too loud. I don't want you to talk too loud, but I don't want to talk. But you're going to talk because we need to talk. talk. But I don't feel like talking. But we're going to talk. Oh, well, don't talk to me later on. But you got to realize, that's right. You and some of I'm trying, I'm trying to not later. to talk now or later on. I don't want to talk, period. Well, we ain't doing that. And right now, with us stuck in the vehicle, it ain't like I can go to another room. So, so we talked it out, what we do. So, yeah, you talk about it. You talk through it, and you find out what the issue is. She was assuming it was one thing. I was thinking it was one thing, and I say it. Now, here's where my problem came in. I admitted it. Yeah, this this was me. I was wrong. I, I didn't you get around the it. bush. You ain't say it's me. I said... Yes, I admit that. I was wrong. I assumed that's what you were going to do. I was wrong in my assumption. I was wrong in my assumption. But it triggered her in her feelings. And so now she in her feelings. I have apologized for my assumption. That don't matter. That don't matter you apologize. Uh-uh. Bro, that's what I said. So with that, I'm saying to her, well, no, I think that should be a video within itself. The people need to see that, you know, it ain't always, it's lovey-dovey. Sometimes I want to hug you by your neck tight. So it ain't always just, oh, what flowers we have around us. Girl, you're a cactus, and I don't want to hold you. <laughs> and so, and that's just what it is. A cactus. You know, a cactus. And so that's what it is, guys. It ain't always just lovey dovey things that's what now let me say to you guys that's let me true. be clear that's true. no matter how angry or upset i am that's one thing my wife has never in her life ever had to worry about or would never have to worry about and that's me putting my hands on her in an abusive manner i would never do that never have and never will never will i told you the angry i the angry i get the quieter i go i just won't say nothing and then Y'all may not know this about me now, or you may know. I have no problem entertaining myself in my head. I go off into another place thinking of a total another thing, another world. I'm in another world. I don't left that one. That's just the man that I am. I've always been that type of person. I don't hold on to grudges long. They kill you. I don't hold on to anxiety long. That hurts you. So me, I let it go. I'm thinking about something else. I'm thinking about what I got to do at home. Some things I got to get done. Those are the type of things I start thinking about. Now, we'll circle back around later on and come back to this. But I don't try to make her me. And I get frustrated when she try to make me her. We don't see things. I mean, because we are so obviously so different in a lot of things. And we, we create a, a great balance, though. So it is. It's just that way. So I think it's important. I felt it was important that you guys see this you guys get to see because like i said it's, it's we have fun we laugh we we you know but then at times you know in in the same thing with um my sons they the same way if they get first they just go silent they just go silent and say well you need to talk this out well sometimes you don't need to talk because talking you're gonna raise your voice which lead to other things so what you do is calm down we'll come back to this we'll um Put a pen in this and come back later on. We'll deal with it and go from there. So that's what I say to you guys. Um, that's how I feel. And so now I got some some food from um, a local fast food restaurant that's cold as can be because I ain't ate so in a hot box and got a microwave in. Would you want a club? I ain't nothing either. Y'all know you be so aggravated and mad just like you just take your appetite you don't even eat. But we really wanted to turn the camera on. I know this is a totally different kind of riding with the minors, but you guys, this is real talk. And although, you know, we do YouTube, like we said, you guys see when we like each other. <laughs> so.
so my husband was like, you know, once we talked it out, um, you know, he was like, this is what you two need to see. They, they need to see the real. Let them see this. This is what they need to see. And I'm like, and I'm so you want to me turn the camera back on? And I'm saying yo. to the people. I, I know, I really want, I really want, now this is for me, I don't, my wife, all her comments and things, I don't see those. I don't look at this. Yeah, he doesn't, I really you don't. guys comment, he doesn't see the comments, but I, for the most part, I tell him, you know, what people say, especially when they reference him directly, I let him know what your comments are. So, but one thing I would like to, I would like to know from you guys, is what do y'all feel about seeing the real? It doesn't change my love, it doesn't change how much, you know, what I care for my wife, but seeing us, and I'm telling you, this ain't no put on. This is not yeah, no yeah, put this, on. This is a real situation right now. We, and, you know, he really was like, turn the camera back on because this is what they need to see. This is real talk. You and know, I want to know what, what y'all really feel about it. Yeah, I think we love each other. We laugh. We, we, we laugh all the time. We have fun. We enjoy one another. I'm, I'm a very energetic, happy man. But I can get on the other side of P.O. Mm -hmm. That yeah. when I get that way, I just shut down. Because it can go to a very bad place, but depending tell, on who it is. They, they can see it all in your demeanor. Yeah, well, and sometimes, ooh, look at my he get demeanor. on my nerves. He make me so mad. And so, yeah, yeah. and so that's Y'all see it all in his face. He did they, and so my call, thing is, call him, we had a mental health, we had a facility where we um, had young adolescent men, young men ages like 13 to 18, but we provided residential care for, and this was years ago. and. The boys used to call Mr. Minor Stone Face because they knew when he got mad, that whole demeanor changed. Look at you. Look at his face. Let him see the sweet face. You're not mad no more. No. You still so, mad? No, I ain't mad at him. Well, my thing is. You mad because so, ain't no microwave in here for you to heat up your food? Could be that too. So I just say to everybody, no, you get over it. You, you, you move through it, you get over, you think it over in your head, you play over this, what you could have done different, what you should have done. Um, you know, but the bottom line is going to be this. Pick your poison. Pick your battle. Do you want to die on this hill? Do you want to die on this hill right here? Because I'm, you know, I'm playing chess in my head. So what I'm saying is, okay, this is going to lead to this, and then this is going to lead to this. And then it's gonna go to a stubborn contest, and you're gonna win the stubborn contest because God gave you the male factor. And that is men are introverts. So that is to say, if we don't talk for two or three or four days, a man will be okay with that. But that's damaging to a woman. That's damaging. And y'all excuse me, I'm listening, but our son is texting me, so I'm responding. Uh, so, yeah. that's damaging. So, yeah, to ask yourself a question, okay, after your two days and you are frustrated, or two days of just silence, what happened? What did it lead to? And so that's why I say I just go on my head, go on my business, come back, and I'm good. I'm good. But, yeah, it gets frustrating. So, again, we just wanted to share the real, um, and, you know, I do try to be mindful. I know he mentioned about having the camera, you know, you can get fr frustrated like every time you turn around it's a camera in your face and I really try to be mindful about that if you guys will notice even during our vacation I didn't um, capture any of the times we were at the restaurant because I was just trying to enjoy that everybody enjoy themselves and enjoy my time with my family without having a camera uh, in everybody's face and again I, like I say this is my channel or our channel and everybody don't they ain't trying to feel the camera all the time and you know probably feel like could you put that camera down please and thank you so I really try to be mindful about uh, just enjoying and being in the moment oftentimes without having the camera so and then I know a lot of times for the most part you guys really really enjoy this dude number one right here because he's so comical and it's, it really is his personality so here as of late you know most of my videos include him because you guys enjoy you know both of us together so again we just wanted to share this moment baby you okay you love me no, man no, no, I ain't mad. I love you no definitely love you that is that's not even in the debate of the, the matter um it was just fun to maybe not like you a whole lot this was Maybe not like you a whole lot right now, but but I love you. And that ain't even debatable. But 
One thing about like, that's a based you don't on like me. Babe, like is a bunch of feelings. They change. You don't like me. I like you again now. You I, like me again. I now. like you again now. Okay. Well. But, but guys, for all know, honesty and sincerity, it's that way. And I commend, also commend to my wife because it's a lot of work with her YouTube channel. But but I also, guys, she wears a lot of hats. She wears a lot of hats. She wears the hat, um, like I say, she handles it as mom, wife, her YouTube thing, her job, and then ministry. And it is, you know, equivalent the same way with ministry. Some days she just don't, I don't want to do ministry. I just want to have a life because there's so much responsibility, you know, in the calling. But in all said and done, you know, we get through it. We move forward and it makes a, or makes up for us in the life that we have. But would I trade it for anything or anyone? No. Wouldn't even, wouldn't even entertain the thought. Wouldn't even entertain the thought, and that's real. That's real. You took your glasses off so they could see you. Well, meant what yeah, you said. I meant what I said. That's real. That's real. But there are times, like I said, when we in the same way with her. I just read her better. And my thing is, if something is, she's bothered about something, I pull back and shut down. I just don't say that. Give us a problem. Sometimes I get in trouble for that. You should have asked me what was wrong. If I ask you what's wrong, just going this way. If I don't ask you. So, well, you guys, this will show a different kind of ride with the minors, but we hope that you all appreciated seeing this realness. He wasn't too comical right now because he was serious, so I'm glad that, I'm glad that he didn't mind, you know, he, he didn't mind sharing it, so, and hopefully this will help somebody, and one thing I want to say is, as couples, you know, you're married, your significant other, you know, family members, friends, even when you deal with things and there's conflict, I would say just try to get it right as soon as you can because life is short. You know, you get mad and you walk off and you're not talking and God forbid something happens to one or the other and there are people that it's happened to. There's probably somebody watching now that you, you have had that very situation happen to you, something that you didn't get right when you should have. There was a saying my husband heard somebody say, when you should have, you didn't. Now you want to, and you can't. So if there's nothing else we want you guys to take away from this real life, real live, teachable moment is just get it right. Be quick to apologize. Learn how to forgive. Learn how to love. You know, and sometimes even you saying, I'm sorry, forgive me, it doesn't necessarily always mean that you were wrong. It's just that you take the higher road oftentimes just to, you know, to, 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 to get things right. And sometimes when you do that, it will allow that other person to say, you know what, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. But again, like I said, you guys, different kind of ride with the minors. We hope that you guys appreciated this episode of us just really keeping it real with the tension that we were currently in and we're good now and hopefully since he likes me now and I'm not the cactus right now that you you don't want I'm the what what's a soft pretty flower I can't say a rose because it be having thorns hopefully I'm your little peace lily and we can stop and get some dairy not dairy oh dairy queen I'm still on the ice cream cone dipped in chocolate so hopefully we'll get that before we get on okay all right so we're gonna keep riding you guys and we're gonna check back in with y'all we'll check back in in a little bit okay well y'all finally got my ice cream mm. i ain't even gonna tell you what all we've been through trying to get to some ice cream but when you're traveling and that bladder get full. Ain't nothing like stopping. Let me y'all cricket. Ain't nothing like stopping and emptying that bladder. That's all. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying, y'all. Got my ice cream. Maybe about 30 minutes away from home. We so ready to get there. I 
appreciate you guys joining us on vacation. Look. Last clip. Our dude number two is texting us. Now my our daughter texting us. Lower these chairs. But thank you guys so much for watching. This real talk video. Taking it to the house. Bye.